as you all know that there is a coronavirus outbreak in China. And let us talk about what is the severity of this outbreak, what is the cause and consequence, is there any vaccine or treatment, and how coronavirus can be detected. So watch this video till the end and make sure you share this video among your friends to grow awareness. So coronavirus enters our body via our respiratory system and primarily infect the lungs. Let's look at the timeline of this outbreak. So the first incident took place in December 30, 2019, where some cases of pneumonia of unknown origin was detected all across China and especially in the town Huang. And it is reported to Chinese uh, National Health Commission. After that, around January 7, 2020, the novel strain causing these out, ca causing this pneumonia was isolated and it is found to be the coronavirus strain. Now, this coronavirus strain was then and there sequenced in several labs in China and the sequence information was shared to World Health Organization. World Health Organization. In January 16, 2020, the outbreak spreads to Japan and Thailand. And now, many Western countries and Asian countries are affected by this virus. So now, China, Australia, France, and some places of US is also affected by this virus. And how rapidly this virus is spreading, right? Now, from the center of uh, the incidence, from Huang, the virus has spread all across the China and its uh, nearby countries, such as Japan and Thailand. And according to John Hopkins University, there is reported 1,354 confirmed cases. And there are quite a lot of death, at least 41 death reported till January 24th. So it's pretty deadly but not as deadly as uh, Ebola virus. So coronavirus are not so deadly or lethal, but sometimes they can be quite nasty. So let's talk about the coronavirus for a moment. Coronaviruses are from subfamily Orthocoronaviridae, and its order is Nidoviridae. Forget about the term, they are simply single-stranded RNA-containing viruses. So RNA is their genetic material. They have an envelope and several proteins such as S protein, which are spike proteins, envelope proteins, and M proteins, which are membrane associated proteins decorating their whole envelope. Now, this coronaviruses specially target the upper resp respiratory tract and the lungs. Now, on a particular cell surface, there are specific receptors, which are like docking sites. In this case, S2 receptor or angiotensin converting enzyme receptor is a docking site for the S proteins of this virus. This leads to receptor mediated endocytosis, a way of entry to the host cell. Once inside the host cell, the virus first makes several viral proteins, including capsid and ma uh, the matrix proteins, and this plus sense RNA is directly taken up by the ribosome and processed for protein synthesis. Now, after that, the virus replicates its own genetic material, makes more of it, and ultimately, there are more viral production and assembly taking place inside the host cell, and the virus moves away and ready to infect another cell, which is uninfected. Now, the viral genome is now sequenced, so the scientists can get an idea of what kind of unique gene present in those viruses and that genes can be detected by PCR and this is one of the diagnostic method currently used to detect uh, coronaviruses. Now in PCR you can amplify specific unique sequences which are unique for these coronaviruses and other than PCR based detection method our body produces antibody against these viruses or these viral matrix proteins. These antibodies can in fact be detected by an ELISA assay where you coat the well with the proteins found in uh, these coronaviruses followed by you put your 
serological sample which is serum collected from the patients and if there is antibody produced in that patient body then these antibodies would be attached to the antigen present in the well and an enzyme linked assay would ultimately tell us the presence of the virus via a color change so if the color change is there that means the virus is there because the antibody against the virus has been produced in the patient's body currently there is no vaccine but the scientist has not noticed that the virus enters the cell by s2 receptor so they tried to block the s2 receptor for a temporary treatment and they created antibodies against the s2 receptor till now it is not marketed but this is one of the promising treatment if the s2 receptor or the receptor by which the virus gets inside the host cell is blocked then the virus cannot get in and as a result the infection cannot occur but what you can do to prevent this kind of outbreak if you notice somebody who is having an ongoing cough or problem in breathing immediately you should tell them to go to a doctor and reporting to the doctor is the most intelligent case in this situation rather than hiding it because imagine if you hide your case and then try to sneeze or cough in the public then this infection might spread instead of stopping right you might spread this infection and other people's life may be in danger so do report this case to doctor currently there are no treatments but going to intensive care in the hospital there are enhanced chance that you could get recovered from these viruses so please spread this information among your friends and do like this video and share it as much as you can let it go viral and please like share and subscribe thank you